You ready? Okay, come on back. Daniel Mendoza wears his heart on his sleeve. An army vet who served 27 months in Iraq, he loves his country. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, go ahead and have a seat right here, Daniel. Tony Morale is a family man with a wife and three kids depending on him. So your blood pressure is a little bit high. For four and a half years, both desperately needed something very few are willing to give. Felt like it would never come. Little did they know their day would come together. She just wanted to find a place to see the meteor shower. 16-year-old Emily was stargazing with friends, climbing higher for a better view when she fell off a ladder at a school construction site in Kitsap County. That fall ended her life. A big hole has been put in everybody's life. Emily was a cheerleader, a softball player, a snowboarder, a big sister who had big dreams. Emily wanted to be the president of the United States. John Ram Jr. describes his daughter as a bright and selfless teen with a megawatt smile, who just a month before this tragedy announced her decision to become an organ donor. And that's what she would have wanted. To. Tony Morale received Emily's right kidney, Daniel Mendoza her left. Just 24 hours after receiving this priceless gift, Daniel received a text. I sent him this. Uh, my name is Tara Vasey. I'm Emily Rand's aunt, and I hear you may have received your candy. He was at a loss for words, but so grateful he defied doctor's orders to attend Emily's memorial service just two weeks after the transplant. I felt like it's the least I could do. That's where Tara and Daniel met for the first time. To be able to touch his hand, you know, even a fist bump is just really awesome. While in the hospital, Daniel never knew Emily's other kidney was next door inside a recovering Tony. I didn't know who he was when I was in the hospital, but somehow he knew who I was. And, you know, he'd see me walking around, you know, doing my, my loops around the hallways, you know, to get my exercise, but I really didn't pay attention to anybody else. I was just in my own little world. You know, and every time I would try to visit Daniel, he's either asleep or is way ahead of me walking down the hallway. It will be a couple of months before the men would meet each other and Emily's entire extended family. Hey, you're the one, huh? The one. Right? No, we Strangers brought together by a 16-year-old girl. It, it, the second chance is really, you know, great. It feels, it feels good. Um, it's nice to know the donor's side of the family and you get to know who they were as a person. Meeting Mr. Ramsey and, and Tara, you know, it, it's, it just felt right. Pretty handsome kids. I feel like I've known them a really long time. Like, it's really weird, actually. Um, I feel like they're almost like my brothers. Brothers who will never forget how they got their second chance. You know, you're grateful for, you know, for somebody else helping you. But then again, somebody had to lose their life for it. So it's kind of bittersweet, I guess. Bittersweet for a family suffering unimaginable loss. It's disappointing that we don't get to see what she would be like as an adult. But finding comfort knowing a part of her lives on. We gave this gift as a gift. We don't expect anything in return. It's a powerful promise made in honor of a remarkable life cut short. Suzanne Fawn, Como News. Something.